guys welcome back to my channel so I hope you guys are ready for this video that I just finished if you like this look that I'm going for right now it's kind of a neutral maybe an Adele inspired look for you know fall winter time I'm not really sure I don't really have a name for it I don't want to say it's an Adele inspired look but I don't know it's you know winged Winged eyeliner, neutral colors, a little bit of sparkle in the corners. If you like it, continue watching, and I will see you guys soon. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye. So today, we're going to do something a little bit different. Just go with the flow and just watch and see what happens. So as usual, I'm getting ready to uh, moisturize my skin with my Aveeno Clear Complexion. I've been using this for years. I love this stuff. It's fantastic. Uh, I just find that... Everything else that I've ever used on my skin, obviously I have very sensitive skin, so I have to be very careful with what I use. So, this is like one of the ones that I've been using for so long, it just doesn't make my face break out <laughs> any more than it already is doing, for whatever reason, I don't know, I don't understand it, maybe it's my age, so, but I have some like redness too, I don't know, what the hell, what the hell is, I don't know what the hell is going on. It's so stupid. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to prime my skin with the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. And I found with this, use just a scotch, just a tiny, tiny bit because a little bit does go a long way. And just put it in the areas where you really need it. Like right in this area is where my big, big pores are. So I like to kind of push it into my skin in this area on my nose and right in the center of my forehead. And I did find that... This can be a little on the greasy side, uh, so I, this isn't my everyday, uh, bah, uh, uh. <laughs> this isn't my everyday primer. I usually use the Benefit Professional, but I am all out of it as we speak. I have not gotten a chance to go to Ulta yet, so I have not gotten a new one, so yeah. So we're going to do Beauty Blender today. We are going to go in with the Matte Poreless Primer foundation. This is my favorite foundation. It definitely helps keep my skin from getting very oily and it definitely hides all of my pores, which is fantastic. I love this. This is my new go-to. I know I always tell you guys that I use the Ready, Set, Gorgeous, but this does not uh, fill in my pores. But what I do sometimes is I, sometimes I'll mix, I will mix both of them together. Uh, but I think today we're just going to do the poreless primer. Or the, yeah, mm -hmm, the matte poreless. And this is in the number 235, which is pure beige. I do have a summertime one, which is in the color 310. So this is the color that I use in the summertime when I'm a little bit on the darker side. So with this, because it doesn't have a pump, I just put it on the back of my hand. And I just washed my face and I just washed my hands. So with clean hands, I would go in, I'll go in with this and just dot it all over my face. And then we're going to go in with the Real Ten Techniques Beauty Sponge and blend all of this fabulous foundation in. And then we'll go in with some concealer and we're going to do a little contour and we're going to do some other stuff. I hope you guys all had, I know, I'm like jumping all over the page right now. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. My Thanksgiving was good. It was kind of quiet. We actually, we went to my brother's. Stupid thing. I need another trim, so my hair is a little out of control. Yeah, anyways, so I don't really have like, I don't know, I don't really have a name for this look that I'm trying to go for. Um, it's going to have, you know, kind of like more of a very neutral eyelid, a winged liner, nothing on the bottom lid. Is <clears throat> okay, so now for concealer, you guys are going to totally laugh at me. With the Fabulous Face, this is from Ulta, and this is in the color Medium. This kind of, this sometimes I find it brightens up my skin just a little bit more. So what I usually do is just go in with this, all in this area. Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, and just work it all out, work it all out. I go in with two different, I know, I'm crazy. I go in with two different powers, pow, powers, really? Powders to set my foundation. This is the L'Oreal True Match. 
And this is just a pressed powder. And this is in W30. And I'll just go in with my fluffy brush. This is my Sephora powder brush. And I just set my concealer. I usually set my concealer first. Anywhere that I put my concealer, I try to set that first, especially because concealer tends to be thicker than your foundation. And it usually, especially because you're putting it like under your eye, it sometimes sets in the fine lines quicker than your foundation would. And then I just go all around and just set the rest of my face. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna go in with our contouring palette, the Anastasia, Anastasia, the Anastasia Beverly Hills contouring palette. And what I like to do is after I put my concealer on, I go in with the banana color. And I do like to just take this and just kind of reset like what's going on under my eyes. Just, just a scotch. I hate that word too, why do I keep saying it? Just a sketch, just a sketch. Basically, basically. I gotta stop all that madness going on. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in, I still have to get a really good contouring brush. Like this is a, this is a small contouring brush. I like using this for my highlighting, um, but I need like a good contouring brush. So hopefully I won't mess this up. This is my, this is more of a summer blush, but because I really want my cheeks to look like pinky and poppy. Uh, I'm going to go in with the sunburst for, and this is from, uh, who is this from? Hard, hard candy. So I'm going to go in with this and then I'm going to go over it with the CoverGirl cheekers in the plum color. So we're kind of like, we're doing a little science project here, ladies and gents. And with blush, I only do make this funny face. Show the people. <laughs> yeah, that's what she's doing. That's what, that's, kind of, that's what she's all about right now. And do my highlighter, which is the uh, Becca Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop, which is, I've look at, I've already hit pan. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> which means I'm gonna have to get another, another one soon. And then with this, I like to kind of pat it into my, into my face because I feel like it gives it just a better I feel like the highlight just like sits a little bit better and I am actually liking the fact that I used that blush I do and then I just do Cupid's bow a little bit on my chin and then a little bit on my nose just because I like I like to highlight certain points so that like when you turn people are like oh look at how pretty that highlight is oh it's so pretty over there too And that's that. Okay, so I'm gonna jump off really quick and I'm gonna go do my, uh, no. I'm gonna do my eyebrows really quick and then I shall be back. Okay, so eyebrows are all done and I did already prep my eyelids. Uh, I've been using the NYX um, eyelid primer, which is really, really great. I love it. I haven't had any creasing because again, like I said, I have very oily skin, so everything creases. <laughs> um, but whatever. It's all good. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with, I haven't used this in a, in a while, actually. Ever since I got my Morphe palette, I have like kind of shied away from all of my other palettes that I have. And I'm like, thinking about it today, I was like, I really need to go back and venture into my older stuff just because it's there, it needs to be used, it's not super old. So we are gonna go in with the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette, which is, again, another one of my favorite palettes. Not as big as a Morphe palette, but because of the look that I'm trying to go for today, I would like to try to stick to a little bit more with the neutral colors. So, although I do need a color from my Morphe palette. Cause you know, like you just have so many, you know, there's just so many colors and so many options in this one. So with this one, what I'm gonna do is, uh, because I don't have a color in that one that is this color here. I don't know if you guys can see this color, this color here. 
it's kind of like a it's a it's a very nude color. This is what I like. One of the one of the colors that I I really that I like to use for a base. And I will try to get a little bit closer so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to go with this and just put this all over my lid. Okay, so that's the only color that I need from that palette. <laughs> okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with some of this cashmere bunny right here. And we're just going to pick this up with a fluffy brush. I need to clean my brushes. Pick this up with a fluffy brush. And I'm like, I don't even know. Okay. All right. So we'll go in with some of this cashmere bunny. And this is just going to go right in the crease. Right in your crease. A little bit of this Silk Teddy, is that what that is? No. Yeah, Silk Teddy. And just go in again with that same kind of flat brush. And this we're just gonna tap right here on this part of the lid. in the corner a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna go back in with that fluffy brush again and we're gonna pick up some more of that cashmere and we're just gonna go back in and just do a little bit more blending. And again, because we want to keep this more of like a neutral look. I I don't know if you guys have this. This is from Ulta. It's the Brow Duo. And I have the pink side of this, which gives you a nice highlight. You just, I'm going to do a tutorial on it one of these days. Um, and you just do it right under your brow. And it gives you that like, it, it, it definitely brightens up your brow bone. Uh, especially for those days where you don't, either you're not wearing any eyeshadow or you don't want to put an eyeshadow up there, uh, which is what we're not doing today. Which is what we're, yeah, which is what we're not doing today. I know I had to like double check myself on that one. And then I'm just going to go back in one more time with a little bit more of that Silk Teddy and really get it. Cause I like to pack and blend and pack and blend and pack and blend. Because I'm a packer and a blender. Yes, we are. I believe we are. Yeah. Just, it's just enough for what we're going to do. The winged liner is on. Now what we're going to do, because we're not doing a uh, liner on the bottom, we, I am just going to just kind of like beef them up just the underneath of my eyes, just a little tiny bit. Uh, yeah. So until we, until we get ready to do our shadow. So I'm just going to go back in with that uh, cashmere bunny color. This one right here. And I'm just going to bring a little bit of this right underneath. And it's not even really so much to like, you know, bring actual color to the underneath of your eyes. It's kind of like <laughs> to guide me because my eyelashes are so light down there. I don't know why. It's really weird. My eyelashes are kind of light down there. So I just kind of like want like Kind of like a guide as to where my eyelashes are. So now what I'm going to do one more time, if I can find a brush, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this flat brush and I'm going to get some more of that Silk Teddy and I'm just going to bring some of it right here and in the corner of my eye. And once the mascara goes on, we're going to go back in and probably do, have to do a little bit more of this too. So, but this is how it looks so far without mascara. Okay. And now I'm going to go in and I'm going to put my mascara on. So, and then we'll just like beef up whatever we need to do after that when I'm done. So I'll be right back. Okay. 
So this is the partially finished eye look. And this is, if you guys can see, this is how it looks. No liner on the bottom, just a little bit of shimmer in the corners, mascara on the bottom, and now we're just gonna throw on our lid. So I know this looks kind of, it looks a little on the pinky side right now, but it won't when I'm done. Okay, my camera just completely cut out, fantastic. And I just got lipstick all over my teeth. Uh, I like tried to eat my lipstick. Okay, 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 okay. All right, now we're just gonna throw on our lip gloss. And with this look too, you can even go with a very, very pale color. Uh, I have this really pretty MAC color that I know I've used before for you guys, uh, which would be really pretty as well. Um, so yeah, so basically this is our look that is complete and just fluff up my hair a little bit so it looks a little bit better. And so yeah, so this is our finished look. It's very neutral, very, it's like a, it's like on the cusp of neutral and bold all in one and I love this I it, it's so funny because it's so funny that I say that I love this look because I never used to like this look I was always the I have to have dark 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 mass you know dark eyeliner on dark you know waterline and this is definitely something I could do probably every day maybe maybe we'll see questions comments definitely email me follow me on Instagram Facebook Twitter I don't have a snapchat I'm not all about snap snapchatting uh, I just I, I'm just not uh, if you have any comments definitely throw some comments in there don't forget to thumbs this video up if you liked it don't forget to subscribe if you like my channel uh, and I think that's all I have for you guys today. So have a great night and I'm hoping to be able to get a video up tomorrow. I'm not sure if I will. If I do, I'll see you guys tomorrow. If not, then I'll see you in the next one. Bye.